Okay, now for the goodies. Disassembling the Blu-ray drive. You take your Phillips number zero and start at these two silver colored screws on the rear of the drive and you gotta be careful on this model this is the 40 gig PS3 with the uh, with the KEM 400 AAA mechanism in it Ah, I doubt you can see that on the video, but it's got a coarser thread than this screw here on the right, which goes into metal. You have to keep track of them. The screw on the right goes into metal and it has a finer thread. Again, I doubt with this poor light you can see the actual thread, but it's got a finer thread designed for uh, threading into metal. So keep track of those. Or when you, when you reassemble it, it just won't fit very well. Next, there are five screws for this particular model. These black colored screws holding the Blu-ray controller onto the Blu-ray drive. So, let's go ahead and take out those five screws. And then, after those five screws, you can release... There's a there's cables for the for the mechanism in the inside just take your fingernail and pop these things out disconnect them the same with the single connector on the side And then, after that, the top shell will uh, come off. First you, this, first you take off this big top shell. And then you can take off the uh, rest of the Blu-ray controller. Oh, one thing to watch for, there will be a piece of tape here where this wire for the disc sensor goes. And uh, mine, obviously, it's missing because I've been in it. So, when you go to disconnect that, just be mindful of that. Yeah, you, and you have to remove it because this, this shell comes off in half, as you'll see later. So for now, just take off the Blu-ray controller board, like so. Be careful of that small disc sensor connector, it's pretty small, and you can break it if you're not careful. <coughs> and at this point you can take off the bottom cover. It reveals the bottom side of the... Uh, mechanics of it. We'll go over this later. Also, there's there are these two. There's going to be another piece of tape here too, holding this cable down. You have to take that out, as well as this connector right here. So go ahead and get rid of that now, because when you, we get inside, you're going to have to remove this board, as I'll show you later on. Just Put that aside. And now we can turn it over. There's 
this hub clamp, which is just, it just lays in here because there's a strong magnet inside of it. Be sure to set it aside, don't lose it, or else your Blu-ray disc won't work anymore. They won't clamp down. Now, once you get the once you get this piece of tape off of the side, then you can take five Phillips number zero screws out of here on both sides. And there's one right here in the back. So I'll just take that stuff off. They're all the same kind of screws. They're the black type that was used to secure the Blu-ray controller on the back of the drive, or on the bottom of the drive. You can mix and match those. They're the same kind of screw. And the top comes off just like that. There are these two spring-loaded, they're weakly spring-loaded parts that uh, help thread the disc in. Make sure they don't come off. One screw of the silver type, the coarse threaded type since it's going into plastic. And the bottom part, this bottom part lifts out. The next thing, we're going to remove this little board with the switches on it. It's got some switches to tell when the disc has been inserted. So just take out two of the silver type of screws here. This board will basically lift up and out. Set that aside. With that, turn the drive over. We're going to remove this little pivot arm here. It's just one screw. One big, one number zero Phillips with a big fat flat head on it and it just lifts out like this you don't have to worry about the orientation it aligns itself on the back side you've got uh, um, use your use your flat head You've got a catch on each side that holds it in. This is on the one side that goes up. I'm just using my flathead screwdriver to pry that up just a little bit until it releases. And it'll release and come on up and out, leaving this ginormous spring in it inside. Don't lose that. And another one there's another one that goes the other way. So just take that out. It lifts on up and out. And now we can take the transport out. Basically to get this transport out of here you take your number zero Phillips and unscrew these four screws that have the uh, shock absorbers on them. There we go. You got your your mechanism just comes on out and forward leaving this tray. Now, notable thing about this uh, KEM 400 AAA mechanism, this transport, the stepper motor, the, the ribbon cable for the stepper motor is included with the mechanism. This white ribbon cable that goes to the spindle motor right here is not included. Make sure you take this out and save it. Also, the shock absorbers on here, these little rubber shock absorbers are not included with your new unit, so you have to save those. Just, uh, just a couple things to note. Assembly, reassembly is basically the reverse of removal. 